Okay, hi, I'm Dr. Kwon. As you uh, know, I've been here so many times, except during the COVID, and now maybe I will be coming here more often. So today, we have a very interesting topic. I will be focusing on the PDO, PDO powder. Actually, we, it's not a PDO powder, it's a PDO micro uh, spear or micro granule, but just let the patient easy to understand, we just say PDO powder. And now it is used for lifting because many people know about PDO thread, PDO material, and now we have a PDO powder, PDO liquid thread. Okay, I will do that. I will do that. I will do that. Okay, so I will just focus on those important things about the PDO materials, which is different from PLLA and PCL. So if you get this point, you will understand better about this product and then you can use it better. First of all, even though this is a category to the filler, we don't mention about filler in Korea right now. Why? Because, you know, in Korea, the market has been changed a lot. So many young people, they don't want filler. It's a big trend right now in Korea. So when you say filler, oh, Dr. Kwon, I don't want a filler. I don't want to put anything, something like that. So that is the trend right now in Korea. And number two, when you say filler, you cannot charge expensive. Do you know the price of the filler has been dropped down too much? So no matter how famous is the filler, still one cc you cannot charge a lot. You know, in Korea, the filler has been too cheap already. But when you say lifting, still we can charge, you know, $1,000, $1,500. Actually, I do this treatment in some other countries. I can charge three to four thousand dollars. So lifting is the concept of this uh, ultra call. I will just go quickly. And one thing, this is an interesting thing. When you, when I lecture about the thread, this is the thread cross section, and this is the collagen surrounding the thread. So when you put some foreign body. The collagen stimulation is always surrounding the foreign material. Okay, please remember that. I just pass about those threads. Okay. Uh, in general, we have uh, two different type of fillers. One is the volume. Of course, we have been using a lot of different type of volume fillers, PAAG, PMMA, calcium, whatever. We've been using a lot of different types, but now in Korea we go back to hyaluronic acid fillers because people find out at least HA is much more safer than other fillers. So the reason is a, is a fully, we, we used to say fully absorbable, so many of the Korean doctors go back to the hyaluronic acid fillers for the volume. But nowadays, every country, everywhere, this collagen stimulator, biostimulator, is coming up very rapidly. So we have the PLLA, Sculptra. We have the PCA Alance. Has been in Korean market for almost uh, 10 years. So we've been using a lot of these kind of fillers and we have a lot of experiences. But now uh, you can ask any Korean doctors, they are coming down a lot. We'll find out what is the reason, okay? And we have the something new, PDO uh, powder filler, which is ultra cold. And it first started from Korea again 
and it first uh, started from ultra V. <clears throat> there are many papers nowadays talk about the PDO is better than PLLA and PDLA and PCL in terms of collagen stimulation. And also, you know, when we talk about the safety everywhere, we talk about the absorption, biodegradability. But we found out PDO is much more better biodegradable than PCL and PLLA. Also, I will tell you the scientific data later. And on the skin surface, when we talk about the wrinkle, skin surface, wrinkle improvement, also much better with the PDO than other materials. And there is another paper also shows PDO injection induce more collagen formation than PLLA injection. There are many papers are coming out nowadays, okay? <clears throat> so the concept here is you inject something under your skin and they stimulate collagen and this material fully absorb, go away, and then only the collagen remains in the, under the skin, okay? This is the concept. <clears throat> and again, the PDO dermal injection filler was first developed in Korea and first developed in Ultra V. Okay, this is a microscopic picture of the ultra core. Can you see it's a beautiful in round shape? So you can see the 300 times enlarged, 2,000 times enlarged, and 4,700 times enlarged. It's a beautiful in shape. Actually, Ultra V already have this kind of a PLA product already long, long time ago, five to six years ago. We made it very beautiful PLA in round form. Okay, this is the picture of the sculpture. Can you look at the shape? It's a very atypical and irregular shape. So actually one of the reasons, there are many reasons to develop gra granuloma and nodule formation, long-term nodule formation. Actually the shape also contribute to that. And this is another uh, PLA. And actually, this PLA called the astephyr, I don't know whether it's here or not, they avoid the patent during the time, and then they removed one L. So this is not PLA, but PLA. And they also have a, have a shape here. Actually, they are not very regular or round shape, because I also been distributing this product many years ago, so I know well about this product as well. And then there is a called the uh, Alance PCL, which is also famous from in Korea many years back. Their shape is quite okay. I mean, the shape is beautiful in round, so we can tell they have a quality. But you know, the PCL material has a uh, some critical problems, you know what? They have a poor melting point is very low. You know, each material has a different melting point. And the PCR has a melting point about 58 to 60 degree. So that means when the temperature goes up, they will have uh, some problems. So this is a kind of a problems you know, we found out there are a lot of these aggregations, clusters with this product. You know, sometimes long lasting also contribute to the nodule or granuloma and the shape also contribute, size also contribute to the formation of granuloma. <clears throat> and there is another Korean product called the PDLA or PDLA uh, called uh, some, yeah, I don't know in English, but Juberu in, in, in Korean. So they also have these very irregular shapes. So please take a look at the shapes and you can feel the quality, which is better, okay? Okay, this is also a comparison between our PDO Ultracore and the PDLLA in 
uh, microscopic pictures. It's very irregular patterns. Okay, anyway, the, and this is another copy came out in Korea, PLLA, and their shape is also not really very in, good in a regular pattern. <clears throat> Actually, the PDO has a two product. One is a 200, which we can inject like a natural volume and lifting. And we also have a, which is size, which is size is a 50 to 120 micrometers. And the other one is a ultra cold 100, which is size 20 to 50 micrometers. <clears throat> uh, you know, our body, in our body, macrophage has its size about 25 to 30 micrometers. So whenever some product, like uh, I mentioned to you a while ago, PDLA product, which their size is uh, 10 to 50, but majority of them belong to 10 to 20 micrometers, that means they will all be eaten up by macrophage and they will not have any long-term collagen effects. So the size is also very important in stimulation of collagen. And this one is showing the PLA, which is a sculpture, uh, melting point is 140 to 150 degree. In normal room temperature, they, the characteristic of this material is very stiff, very hard. So whenever you inject, like a, because I told you we have experience in Korea sculpture more than eight years. Whenever you inject more than three, four, five times, what will happen? Many patients come to me and tell, Dr. Kwon, my skin is very stiff. I, if, I feel like uh, my skin is very stiff, not my skin. It happened many, many times with the thin skin patients. Okay, and they have a more longer lasting absorption, like a one and a half to two year uh, period of time. So, you know, whenever something go more than one year duration, not absorbable more than one year, then they have a chance to develop granuloma and nodule formation. And this is a PCL, Elance, which was, I mentioned to you, their melting point is a 58 to 60 degree. So they are more flexible. The PCL material is very soft and flexible. So whenever you meet high temperature, then you have a trouble also uh, as I mentioned to you, the particle, round, beautiful particle, start to aggregate each other, and the size become bigger, and macrophage cannot take them up, then it will cause also long-term granuloma and nodule formation. Just last week, I, have, I removed one uh, patient. She placed the uh, Alliance seven years ago, and when she do like this, and then it's some sausage appear here, so she was not able to remove many years back, but I removed with my RF cannula. Actually, I removed a lot of a previous filler patient in my clinic. Anyway, so this one also long lasting, more than one year duration, so they have a more chance to develop granuloma and nodule formation. But you know, PDO, as you know, absorb in six to eight months, and this microparticle absorb in four months to, you know, six, within six months. So they never give any problem to give rise to long-term nodule and granuloma formation. That's very important. So you might say, oh, then the last, lasting effect may be lesser than the PCA or PLA. You might think that way, right? Okay, let's find out. Okay, this is a very important scientific base. PDO in general is hydrophilic, so it's a water-friendly. and PCL, PLA, in general, they are hydrophobic. So, you see the PDO, they mingle well with the water, and they are not, these two, they are not really mingle well with the water. So, think, no water, no life. No water, less collagen stimulation. More water, more life, more collagen stimulation. You got it? So this is a very important point. <clears throat> so more hydrophilic, more cell addition, and more collagen stimulation. Okay, so this is uh, very simple, okay? <clears throat> 
And we compared, this is from Jungwang University Dermatology Department by Dr. Kim Bom Jun. He is one of the famous dermatologists in Korea. So he studied with, with Ultra V using nude mouse. Then we put the PDO, Ultra Cool, we put the Sculptra, we put the PCA, Alance, and we measure when the collagen stimulation will start and when the collagen stimulation will be finished. So we had this study, interesting study, and it shows whenever you put any foreign material, I, I mentioned to you a while ago, collagen production start from fourth weeks, okay? And then maintains up to 12 weeks. So no matter PDO or PCR, whatever, PLA, whatever, they start collagen stimulation appear one month and maximum three months. It doesn't mean two year absorbable material or long term material, they will stimulate more collagen, okay? So it never happened. Please take note. And this is the ultra cold, the PDO particle and the surrounding the collagen stimulation appears around the ultracore particles. And this is also another comparison between three materials, also done by Jungwang University, the dermatologic mm -hmm. department. So PDO shows compact collagen stimulation and also well-localized collagen fibers and stimulation here. This is a sculpture. You have seen the atypical shape of the particles, and you have seen the, the round of the PCL, Alance. So you can see the collagen stimulation is still much better with the PDO. Why? Because of the hydrophilicity. And this is also another interesting study from Cha University uh, Hospital. It's also very famous in Korea. They did a comparison between Restylane and also the ultra coal for the collagen production. So of course, we all know Restylane is one of the best high running acid for the volume. So you can see here, the Restylane, the jelly have the volume, but the collagen stimulation is only at the edge, okay? So of course, they are good in volume, but in collagen stimulation, ultracore is much better in diffuse and well localized. So ultracore is much better in collagen stimulation. And also the superficial wrinkle. You know, when you inject something on the superficial wrinkle, do you want to inject something long-term absorbable material? So I still have a question on some of the product if you're going to inject on the superficial intradermal layer for the injection. But we have experienced a lot of a superficial injection of PDO. We didn't have a much trouble. For me, I swear, I never had any single nodule on the superficial wrinkle uh, skin booster injection with a PDO ultra cold. Okay, so these are the, some of the interesting studies. So this one actually uh, talk about the collagen stimulations. This is a mono thread, 3850. So <clears throat> you measure the surface area for collagen stimulation. So it's a 10.9 micrometers. And Ultracore 200 has a 2 million uh, microspheres. So we measure the diameter times 2 million and we, we can calculate Surface area for collagen stimulation is 15,700. So, it's a 1,400 pieces of monothread equivalent surface area for collagen stimulation. So many, some of the Korean clinics advertise this way, 1,400 thread equivalent collagen stimulation. So we have a two product. Uh, it's a quite interesting. Uh, I use this PDO powder for lifting, but depends on the layer where you put. So if you put exactly on the subdermal layer following under the skin and continuous pattern of the injection, you will see similar lifting effect with a tornado, double twist, or mono, okay? But if you put a little bit more or a little bit on two layers, two layers, and you will see also natural volume effect because this volume effect 
collagen stimulation effect is much stronger than other material, as I mentioned to you. And we have the collagen skin boosters. You know, uh, uh, many skin boosters in Korea, we first had a hyaluronic acid fillers, non-crosslink hyaluronic acid, and we had uh, some, you know, like uh, Filorga, NCTF, we had a lot of exosomes right now in Korea, and we have uh, some PDRN skin boosters, but I can tell you, for the acne scar, for the, the, the wrinkle skin boosters, please compare this UltraCore 100 with others, then you will see the magic, okay? So these are interesting uh, products. Of course, I mix here usually sterile distilled water. Please remember, not normal saline. Sterile distilled water, three to four cc, and lidocaine, epinephrine, one cc, okay? For me, I always mix four cc or 4.2 cc usually. And as a skin boosters, uh, so it's similar, once a month for three session, and another three session for every three months. So that's a very usual pattern of the skin booster injection interval in Korea. And one more very interesting thing, you know, the ultra core has a great indication which other fillers never can make it. The area is right under the eye, right under the eye, and also right beside the lateral canter area, okay? So this area, I'm sure you must try it. It's very difficult to inject with other fillers, but this can give you great results. Okay, so because of time is running out, I just show you some of the before and after photos, and I will give you, I will show you some uh, two, sim two or three simple videos. Okay, I will just go quickly. This is the only UltraCore 200 done, or about 1.5 bottles, because I do for lifting. So after two weeks, after four weeks, after six weeks. Can you see some things are changing? More brightening and also the lifting comes naturally. Side, this is the right after. Usually two to three days mild swelling. And I always give, after the treatment, I always give uh, antibiotics, simple amp antibiotics and enzyme for the prevention, two to three days. So two weeks, four weeks, six weeks. Can you see the lifting on this lateral side? Okay, and especially under the eye, this area, which is, I know many people put the filler and then become very unnatural. It happens in Korea so many times. So. We have this natural look, especially this anterior cheek, upper cheek area. We have not much things to do with the natural lifting, but we can do with this video powder. Okay, this area here. <clears throat> this look, sunken, protrude, sunken, sagging, will improve naturally. So this is a lifting, okay? Under the eye, I, you said you give me 30 minutes. No. Okay, this is a quite interesting one. Under the eye, okay, I will go and show the video first because this will be the main video that I'm going to show today. Okay, so can you see the wrinkles around the eye area? You know, before when I was, I mean, before when I meet this kind of patient, I tell them I cannot treat the wrinkles under the eye. 
uh, even Botox or I, anything, eye thermage or eye ulcera or I, anything, I cannot do under your eye. But now I have this interesting product, UltraCol, which I can treat a lot of the wrinkles right under the eye. So this patient is about 65 years old and she don't want to do any surgery. So this is I'm shooting UltraCol 200. The one thing you have to remember with the UltraCol 200 if you go in until the end, the lower margin of the eye, and then you shoot slowly, please remember continuous pattern, okay? Don't shoot, shoot and stop, shoot and stop, shoot and stop. You never see the lifting effects. So that's the common mistake of doctors who didn't listen about these uh, uh, techniques, okay? So you go until the end, you see, this is the very interesting area which we really cannot do with the other fillers here, right? But there are many people with the sunken and dark there. So we aim there. And also, at the same time, we reach up to the nasal border, we shoot all the way, okay? And please look at the speed I put. Uh, every line, per line, I'm shooting 0.1 cc. This will be very, very safe for you. Because no matter what you do, you never have any problem, okay? Because under the eye, only the under the eye, you have to a little bit be careful because you, you use the former techniques like a needle and you inject too much, you, have, you might have the bulging, okay? Actually, they will not give you permanent or long-term nodule like a, uh, like a PCR or PLLA, but still it's a risky. The patient might come back to you and complain. So we're going to do some uh, prevention, so you go until the end, should slowly withdraw with the continuous pattern, okay? Just remember that, then you will have a wonderful magical result with the ultra call. And this area here, this area here, the lateral cantus area, beside the lateral cantus area, I told you there is no other fillers can shoot here safely. This is the only product you can shoot safely. And you will see a lot of rejuvenation, young looking, the patient. I have an uncountable patient doing this every day, more than 10 to 15 patients a day doing this treatment. Okay, so this is a very good indication for you, which you were not able to treat before. Okay, so this is the interesting technique. And then the UltraCool 100, If you have this machine called the air dissector, you will have a, a lot of new magical treatment with the wrinkles and skin pores and scars, okay? Because I really do a lot of treatment with the skin pores and acne scars with this treatment every day. Okay. So this is uh, quite interesting. You do the air dissection. But you have to tell the patient, the patient will have a three-day swelling. So I usually tell, if you want to improve, you have a swelling. Do you want to do it or not? And they agree, then you do it. It's very simple. And this swelling, 100% go away after three days because it's air, subcutaneous emphysema. So they will all go away. So you should right under the eye and wrinkle. You know this area, the wrinkle is very difficult to treat. Why? Because the skin is thin. And whenever you have a scars, also difficult to treat. But you can treat with all this. Uh, after that, you can put the UltraCore 100 into the area where you dissect it, okay? But to make it safer, you can mix with a non cross link HA and UltraCo 100, 50-50, then you can shoot. So to prevent some patient with a thin skin or when you inject too superficially, you might have a something, not a long-term nodule, but still nodule-like, we appear for one, two, three months. So you might have a headache, so you can do something like this, okay? So especially the wrinkle area, you can put exactly intraderma with ultra UltraCo 100, after that, 
we do uh, finale with the injector gun. You know, in Korea, we usually use all the skin boosters with this kind of uh, injectors. Because sometimes you use manual, sometimes quality control, depends on the skin thickness of the patient, thin patient, or area of the skin. Sometimes the quality control is difficult, so you, you control with the injector. Very even and very accurate, you know, it's important. So, we did this treatment, and the patient came back to me after one month. Can you look at the under the eye area, especially here and here? So this is exactly photo after one month, okay? Just like a surgery, I was also shocked. So after that, I'm doing a lot of this under eye wrinkle patient nowadays. So I just show you a few bit, few pictures, and I will finish the lectures. Okay, so let's take a look at it under the eye, and this is an acne scar. She did it five times with the air dissector, and then she has a great result. And also, actually, we didn't report yet, but. This UltraCore 100 mixed with uh, some other hair boosters, exosomes, actually this patient I mix with the exosomes, we have a great result for the hair growth as well. Can you imagine? Because I use a lot of thread also for the hair growth, you know, inch thread. So I use this one and we have a good result. Okay, I just finish, finish. Under the eye. So just one thing please remember, don't shoot here, when I said one cc, don't shoot here one cc all, then you might have the bulging. So when I say one cc, 0 0.5 cc here and 0 0.5 cc here, okay? So in that, you are very safe. So this is a patient I use the super tornado, five pieces of thread here, 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 and with the UltraCore 100. This is a Dr. Ham's pic photos. Also, it's very good for the uh, wrinkles on the forehead. I use one octo twist and UltraCore 100. And also one of the very good indication, which I was not able to do with the other, other treatment, hand rejuvenation. Uh, this one, I use one bottle and then four cc dilution, two cc on the left hand, two cc on the right hand. So here, shoot this uh, fan shape pattern, two cc, and also UltraCore 100 with, mixed with the exosome, I use as an injector. So this is after two months, okay? So hand rejuvenation is a, also a very good item. So this is a, one of the trial, one of my uh, friend, Dr. Lee, he shoot only his left hand, okay? He shoot only his left hand because he want to see how, the long, how long will be the effect of the ultra call. So this is after three weeks, four weeks, six weeks after, six months after you can see the one he shoot is much better. The one he didn't shoot is uh, something, you know, uh, older. And I met him last December. So this is a picture after two years, after just one treatment of the ultra cold. So still, left hand is much better. So anyway, we can use a lot of wrinkles as a skin boosters and skin pores, acne scars, uh, a lot of, I mean, the indication. Just one thing. Just in case you have to be careful once again, under the eye area, don't shoot too much, okay? Not more than 0 0.5 cc right under the eye, eye area. Then also prevention by approach. You approach from the low to up, then you can have the prevention. And just another one with the 100, in case you inject too superficial, you might have something like a nodule-like. So whenever you have this one, please don't inject triumption alone don't inject hyaluronidase, why? Because this injection will make more worse. The surroundings will be sunken, but the ultra cold 100, the uh, emboss will not go away. So what you can do is, you can, because it's hydrophilic, you can inject hyaluronic acid, non crossing hyaluronic acid, and then you can do some of the, some of the, what do you call, you know, LDM, if you have LDM, or you can inject more uh, non crossing HA, it, it will, help to absorb more faster, okay? So this is uh, all. Uh, also, if you have an RF cannula, you can break it. I break all the 
things after two sessions. So actually, the RF cannula will be a lot helpful in, in case of any nodule-like formation. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.